Alright, Artorias, the Abyss Walker. Arguably the face, the mostly hidden face, of the first Dark Souls game. With, in my opinion, one of the most awesome looking armor sets in the entire series. And you could also argue that this moveset has been quite influential for the designs of the later installments. Where we encounter faster, more nimble and more agile opponents. And speaking of his agility, one of the more memorable attacks that he has is a somersault. Even a triple version if you're unlucky to get stunlocked beneath the weight of his abyss corrupted sword. But what is very lucky for us is that when you yourself take the abyss great sword for a spin, you can quite literally take it for a spin, as it allows you to perform that very same somersault attack. Well, not up to three times unfortunately, however crushing your enemies in such a stylish manner certainly puts the art in notorious. Or R2 and Arturius, I should say, since it specifically requires a two-handed R2 attack. So that should make you wonder, what would it be like to go for the game using the Arturius Somersault as your only form of attack? And of course, wearing the appropriate fashion while doing it. Well, I don't know, it sounds a bit too easy when you already start off with heavy armor and high stats, because wielding the sword requires quite a lot of levels. And then you can add even more levels on top of that. No, how about we do it like this? We do start off with the sword, armor and the lowest level you can be at to still wield the sword. But as an additional restriction, we are not allowed to level up any further. So minimal stats for the entire playthrough. Well in that case, this attack has ironically quite a flip side to it. Because no matter what you do, you will always drain your entire stamina bar, leaving you incredibly vulnerable, meaning that if you misalign your flip, the enemies will end up flipping you the bird. And what makes us even more vulnerable is that we can only mid-roll at best, as we require Hevel's Ring to prevent fat rolling. And you know, despite starting off as the thief, let's pretend that we don't actually have the master key. So that Hevel, upgrade materials and the like are not instantly available after leaving the asylum. Well, there is at least one little light in this vast and immeasurable abyss, namely that you can actually upgrade armor in this game. Not every set, but this happens to be one of them. So, well, that's something at least. Oh well, the tale of Atorius was spun like a web of lies. So I guess this will be a story all about how my life got flip turned upside down. So, we start off as a thief and mod in the equipment and the required levels, but we won't be raising any stat any further. So you could say that doing the run like this is going to be really flipping sweet, but in all honesty, let's not be flippant about it. It's more likely going to be an abysmal experience, with many frustrating and embarrassing deaths, resulting in me uh, mainly spinning around in my own grave. But hey, that's what your bunch of satyrs like anyway, so... Uh, Let's just go for it. Well, at least early game I have immense defenses. But as I said, given that I cannot level up my... Uh, uh, my vitality. I think upgrading armor for endgame is going to be uh, very important. <laughs> but uh, hey, we'll see what happens. Also, we only just have uh, 9 vitality. That's uh, well, but that, 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 that's uh, lower than SL1. Hey, Hello. Oh yeah, that's also a thing. This attack doesn't have any tracking. So, a missing attack is also uh, a danger. And the problem, of course, is that this attack leaves you completely vulnerable. Oh, it actually works! Hey, it works! You can do a plunge attack with that attack! Oh, that's cool! I had no idea that would work. I genuinely had no idea that would work. I just wanted to do the flip. I thought I, you would just move right through him, but you can actually do a plunge attack with this attack. Hey, that's interesting for uh, uh, Taurus Demon as well. <laughs> so, well, at least we sit at the bonfire. 
Uh, but we cannot level up. Well, actually, humanity. It's another uh, quirk of this weapon, by the way. It's another quirk of this weapon, but this weapon skills with humanity. But if you have 10 humanity, I think you get a 15% damage boost. Problem, of course, is that uh, with, a low, uh, with a small life bar, then uh, you can easily lose your humanity. So it's also... Uh, well, from doing these challenge runs, by the way, you already uh, lose your humanity. But that's, uh, that's a different issue. The fat roll. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I do have a little bit of poise. Actually, I think this armor doesn't even have that much poise. 37. That's actually not a lot. Even though it does qualify as heavy armor, it's actually not even that... Powerful, I mean, uh, compared to, for example, obviously Havel's armor, of course, but... Okay, let's... Can I get through? Fuck, delicious. I'm still taking quite a bit of damage, by the way. As I said, this armor is not as efficient as you uh, would expect it to be. Yeah, the thing is, the Clorenty Ring would be very helpful, but... I already need Fab and Havel, so yeah. Oh, and Wolf's Ring, that's also a good point. Wolf's Ring would be very theme-appropriate, but yeah. You only have two ring slots in this game. Okay, let's see if I can get some star... Po hey. You're in the corner. Okay, that's me in the co... Yeah, I got him. Ooh, but now... No, don't fall off. Don't fall off. I actually got on the edge of the bridge there. But it, that's so cool that you can actually use this flip to do a plunge attack. Because I didn't know there was any attack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it went over my head. Nice. Quick. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. <laughs> Son of a fuck. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, before it. Nice. Okay. Very good. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, whoa. Yeah, please get me for the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made it for the gate. Nice. All right. Oh. Oops. I suddenly thought of something. We are pretending that we don't have the master key. In order to get the track out of the cell, you need the key <laughs> there that you. Okay. I actually have to go back. Helpful. Very helpful. Which witch is which witch in Dutch? Welke hex is welke hex. There you go. It doesn't sound as good as which witch is which witch. Yeah, that's true. Welke hex is welke hex. Yeah, it doesn't work as much. Oh, wait. This isn't actually... This isn't actually the key. Oh, the key is down there. Oops. Well, that's helpful. Oh, ah. Eh, eh, snap, snap, snap. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Quick heal. Poise, 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 poise. Fuckalicious, 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 very fuckalicious, boys. I have boys, make use of the boys. Best weapon in the game is boys. Ah, that's better. Okay, there is the key. That's the key we need for the track. Of course, we technically actually do have the master key, but we're pretending that we don't have it. So, now we can make our way towards Andre. Unfortunately, Andre can't really do that much for us, but we can at least... Get uh, a weaponsmith box and even an armorsmith box and pff, repair box. Why not? But other than that, I don't think he has anything that we can make use of. Get yourself killed. You know what? Let's first do this. Let's see if this uh, works out. Let's uh, just see if this works out. Oh, okay, that didn't really work out. And he grabbed me. Okay, let's hide behind the fire. By the way, it's also a great uh, Soul Level 1 strategy here. Oh, hey, I thought that was a great <laughs> strategy, but the, the dog actually got behind it. I got outplayed. Let's flip into the fire. I'm not even in the fire, so that was a pretty clean flip, I suppose. <laughs> I literally, I was literally just explaining that that's a good strategy to hide behind the fire. And then the dogs will just walk into the fire and he outplayed me. He outsmarted me. Okay, now I have to be very careful here. Because I don't want to deal with the dogs and those thieves at the same time. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa! Ah, ah. No, 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 whoa, 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 way too much damage. Quickly heal. Okay, poise. Thank you. Oh, whoa, dog. No, poise, 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 poise. Holy crap, delicious double bloodlust here. Bandit knife and a dog. Very nice. Alright, let's you know let's take the dog for a walk. 
Let's take the dog. Hey, hey he doesn't want to go for a walk. That Come on, Fido. Don't fight me. Oh. Okay. So I can't I can't even take a dog out for a walk. Like nah, really nothing is going right. Uh, really nothing is going right. I thought that Torius loves dogs. Yeah, that's actually true. I should be loving dogs at this moment. Well, actually that's the thing. With the only good boy, the only good dog in uh, from software games is Sif. All the other dogs are terrible. Okay, let's buy a, a piece of poop. Ah. And a prism stone. So, now let's uh, get some Demon Titanite. Hey, hold, hold on. Extra style points. Geronimo. Very good. Completely unnecessary, but also completely necessary. But I actually have to get the doll, because there is something in the painted world that can help me out at the very end of the game. Some nice point. Uh, well, wait. Hey. Okay, that didn't really work out as much as I thought. I was hoping that you could squash uh, Black Knights. Just uh, you can do with a lot of enemies. But apparently, uh, no. That doesn't work. Okay, that didn't work out. And I'm dead because I'm helplessly on the ground. <laughs> because you deplete all your stamina. And it's already a very uh, slow attack. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost balled uh, Oscar. Which would be a little insulting if you ask me. Uh oh. Don't backstab me, please. Oh. Hey, ah! Yep. This is not good. This is not good at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do definitely have to take into account that I have uh, a low health bar. I still don't have the fab ring after all. Okay, let's quickly get the ring for later on. Oh, maybe I should test something out. Oh, fuck. If I get the chance, I should. Try parrying and then do the... Because that's going to be important against Gwyn, I think. Uh-oh. It's... Sort of works, but not that well. I think Gwyn is going to be a little bit of an issue. <laughs> Ow. Of course, if I can immediately get to the channeler, I can uh, prevent getting gangbanged to death by the hollows, hopefully. Quick. No, no. I don't have enough boys. Yeah, get him. Nice. Okay, that worked out. Of course, I still have to survive. Uh, okay, boys. Uh, line up. Uh, yeah, line up. And then I'll deal with you. Oh, ooh, nice. Triple kill. Triple kill. Oh, I have to watch out that I don't get attacked from behind here. Oh, ooh, they, they still do a lot of damage even when unbuffed. <laughs> I'm quite worried when I see that damage. I'm quite worried about uh, late game. <laughs> In fact, even the gargles might already give me uh, trouble. Kind of depends how much damage I will do against them. Well, I haven't tried it out, but apparently Lords of the Fallen has become a lot more playable after all the updates. So, But that's what I heard. That's not something I've tried out, so can't really comment on that. Well, it's not that I'm unwilling to give it a second try. I just am afraid that nobody would, uh, other than a handful, would even be interested in that anyway, so. Oh, by the way, something I definitely am looking forward to and I want to try out. And I, of course, cannot yet know if it's going to be uh, challenge runnable. But something I've been looking forward to for a long time is uh, Stellar Blade. That's going to come out in April. That's something I definitely want to check out. Wow, we did a run in which we didn't kick Lotrek over the edge. That's something. Unfortunately, I'm still fat rolling. Even with fat ring. So, we're going to need Havels for that. <laughs> How the fuck the <laughs> You missed so easily with this attack. It's kind of weird. <laughs> even that missed. Yeah, I noticed, by the way, that Stellar Blade was 80 euros. Not even 70, which is already quite a lot. It's 80 euros. Like, Jesus, fuck this. Things are getting uh, more expensive by the day. Life in general is becoming very expensive. Oh, pff, I missed? Okay, let's just uh, uh, get to the other bonfire. I can defend against the magic quite effectively with this sword. Uh, is he going to die from that? Uh, let's just 
Let's just go for it. Quick, R2, 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 yes. Oh, no! He survived. Well, at least I survived as well. Yes, Arturius, exactly. I even have it as the name. Knight Arturius. And so now we're getting the key to the tower where Hevel is located. <laughs> By the way, I didn't even equip the wolf's ring. Not that that would have helped me, but I did go out of my way to pick it up. I doubt it will help against uh, Hevel. I think he will just <laughs> annihilate me. Okay, let's see how this works out. Ah! Well, that's how it works out. Not very well, I would say. Okay, that's a bit of an issue, because I very, very much would like to have Havel's Ring so that I don't fat roll anymore. Huh. That is some crap of the delicious variety. Parry and flip. Yeah, but the problem is I cannot actually squash him, so my recovery time is still an issue. Maybe if I allow him to attack first... Oh, very quick, and then hope for the best. Oh, I can squash him. What the hell? Okay, let's see if this works then. Oh, he blocked it. Uh, then, uh, okay. Well, the idea was there, but the execution was a bit uh, on his end. Okay, but let's do it again. Attack immediately after he... Oh, huh? Oh, that was still hyper armor then. Okay. But... It does give me the most time to recover. Ooh. Hey, that didn't hit, kill me. So if I get the chance to heal. Uh, this, should, this should be doable. This should be doable. So, but apparently the reason I squashed him before is because he still is in his hyper armor apparently for some reason. Oh, what? Oh, ooh, nice. That worked out. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's still alive. But now he did get knocked down. But he got up again. But now I will forever keep him down. All right. Finally. Now I'm mid-rolling, which still sucks. But hey, it's uh, it's something. Well, with a plus two uh, sword, we probably do uh, more than enough damage to the gargoyle. So if I can uh, hit him at least, I should be able to kill the first one before the second one is going to... Uh, Show up. Okay. Let's see if I can avoid it. Yes. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's not... Damn it. That's uh, some deceptive reach. Oh, this is not going... This is not going well. Okay, just... No! I missed! Son of a fuck! Well, this is not going well. Okay, let's heal. Just hit him! Okay, well, at least I'm doing good damage. That's not that's not the issue. Okay, nice. Stagger. Eh, I don't have stamina. Okay, kill him before the other one is here. No, I missed. No. Okay, this sucks. Damn it, now it's... Okay, let's just sneak in. Uh, no, no, he did that. No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong, delicious. Okay, this is... This is a really... Ma okay, that's good. Both at the same time? Yes. Awesome. Okay. That's better. Wow, I got really lucky there. <laughs> the gargoyles are better than, do at dodging than I am. Yeah. Yeah, rub it in. <laughs> oh, pfft. Damn it! Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Not in the fire. Not in the fire. Not in the fire. Yeah. Ah, no, I'm still in the fight. Fuck, Alicia, fight. No, get out of it. Get out of it. Get out. Ah. Heal, 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 heal. The skill. No, he doesn't dodge his backwards constantly. Son of a. Okay, now I should have him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that definitely took a lot more effort than you would think uh, of an early game boss like this. With a boss weapon at plus two. Okay. How will Grimby with no parry? Uh, fucked. Okay, don't jump and do lava. Uh, she's still doing it. I very kindly asked her not to. That missed? How the hell did that miss? Son of a fuck. 
Oh fuck, I'm wearing the wrong ring. One ring to rule, uh, to ruin it all. <laughs> I of course want one Hevel ring. So I can mid roll. Uh, I want to actually attack. Okay, whoa, hey, that was actually nice damage. That, I think that was some aerial instability damage. Hey, I avoided it. Boy, at the oh, whoa, oh, move away, move away. Oh, that was not smart. Oh, I, I still avoided it. Ah, oh, now I avoided it because I was on the ground. Okay, actually, pretty nice. Oh, and that missed somehow. <laughs> That's so weird that that uh, lava goes sideways. I mean, I've heard about speaking out out of both sides of your mouth, but spitting out of both sides of your mouth is a bit weird. Nicely avoided again with the jump. So in certain cases, you can actually use it to avoid attacks. Okay, very nice. Oh, I didn't even uh, think about that, because you can actually hit the human uh, part of Quillac uh, with this attack. What are you complaining about? You what did I do? What have you done? What have you done? Ah! Oh, that would be uh, interesting if Angie would literally start uh, pursuing you like, I know, like Nemesis or something, or like Mr. X. <laughs> Mr. X! <laughs> He would actually be Mr. X. Should I pull the ga gamers weekend and just die here? Kyle actually died to that attack there when he uh, tried to do uh, the Caesar Seas. Again, you didn't hear that from me, but... Uh... Also, by the way, over here... I think it was one of that weird tentacles that uh, Caesar has, but here... If you look at that, you see? This one can hit you as well. Also, you can actually knock him off by hitting that. Bit risky, so near the edge, but you can actually do it as well. It doesn't have to be the hand. It's a bit weird for him to fall down like that then, but uh, there you go. That's how it works. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I should go to uh, Pinwheel first. Because in Andalondo, maybe against Oro and it would be uh, helpful to have the Rite of Kindling. No, I'm not going to die to Pinwheel, come on. I'm not Kyle. At least I don't have to be at full health for... To survive a single drop. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the? What the hell was that? And hey, I, he, he parried me. What the fuck? He couldn't repose me because of the bonfire, but he actually parried my. He can actually parry. <laughs> he can parry my flip attack. Always nice that you immediately lose health, but hey, should be fine. Hey, <laughs> he did cloak on it away. That's not fair. Oh, don't die to pinwheel. Oh, it's not even that much damage, actually. Ah, oh, it's actually okay. Whoa! No, 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 don't die to pinwheel, don't die to pinwheel. Don't give Carl the satisfaction. Come on, quick, quick, kill him. Ha, huh, that's better. Okay. I got close. Got close. <laughs> but uh, I didn't die. I did not die. I did not die. No, I did not. Ha! Ah. And it is the mask of the mother. Now I'm Matorius. That was not a dad joke. That was a mom joke. Come on, guys, pay attention. <laughs> yeah, do a run. Hey, I actually thought about uh, about the randomizer run where every enemy spin wheel, but you can only use dunk pies. So, a shit boss, <laughs> and you can only use shit. Son of a fuck. Oh. Okay, I think uh, we're better off just uh, going past Air Iron Golem and picking up free uh, Demon Titanite in Anolando. I think that's a better idea. By the way, I was thinking about what kind of challenge runs are even possible in Metal Gear Solid games. I mean, they are kind of games that you have to play in a specific way. 
But there is something that I that could potentially work in Snake Eater. So if the Snake when the Snake Eater remake comes out, maybe that's something I should keep in mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, ah, no, 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 what the fuck, the snack? I, I literally just wanted to say, oh, I accidentally walked into the axe, but I didn't actually get hit. And then the lightning knocked me back into the axe. Well, the axe effect, it's, uh, it's about attraction. If, what the hell, now I walked into it myself. How many times have I gone through Sense Fortress? Shouldn't I be able to just consistently avoid this? Oh, by the way, there's something I might need later on that I have to pick up first. Hey, whoa, I... Fuck, Alicious, that's not what I wanted. Infinite poise. That's better. Again, what the hell am I doing? I, whoa, but he, but he knocked, I wanted to do the backstab thing and he knocked me back with the lightning. What the fuck? Ah. <laughs> Have you ever thought about doing challenge runs? <laughs> Once I get better in the game, uh, better at the game, then I will uh, start doing challenge runs. Now just trying to survive is... <laughs> I don't did that miss! Okay, and now we can go the normal way. Hey, what the fuck? No, no, don't push me in front. <laughs> what the? Why did he follow me all the way up here? He's the one protecting, uh, guarding uh, the Ring of Steel protection. This does remind me of my first time for Sans, minus all the flips on the Taurus armor. Uh, glad to provide you with a little bit of nostalgia. Uh, I was like, oh, let's quickly run through Sans Fortress and then we can uh, buy some Green Blossom from that uh, merchant guy. Easy. Quickly kill Iron Golem. No big, de no big deal. And get some uh, Demon Titanite in uh, in a London though. Kinda is playing out differently, surprisingly. What the fuck? Oh, uh, uh, no! I was avoiding the snake behind. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. It sends fuckhouse, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not uh, as fun, but there's a lot of fucking going on here. The funny thing is a brothel, it can both be called a fuckhouse and a funhouse. It can be called a house of sin or a house of win. Okay, I'm actually holding a snake now, so okay. Hopefully I can run fast enough with a snake uh, on my waist. I, I, I walked into the boulder? Why would that knock you down if you walk into a boulder that's standing still at that moment? Ah, this definitely is reminding me of my first playthrough. Son of a fuck. I'm not fast enough! Oh. This is nice entertainment, I must say. No, it's not. It's not happening. This is not the stream you were looking for. Despite the name of this fortress, what is happening right now is making no sense. I have the time of my life. Okay, well, just use the infinite poise trick. There's no lightning here, right? I mistimed it! Are you kidding me right now? Oh, what is going on today? Oh, I still almost died, by the way. Ah, finally. <laughs> Watch it miss a drop for the bonfire and die. That has happened to me before, that I uh, bounced off on the spikes on the end. <laughs> you should try jumping down with a somersault. Uh, no. Oh, crap, delicious. Finally. <sighs> I guess it's a good thing that I'm not doing this run during the summer. Because the inherent feeling of frustration I get from high temperatures is not the type of somersault that I would want to add to what is turning out to be a complete centrifugal calamity. But hey, at least now I could buy a whole bunch of green blossom for extra stamina regeneration. Which I basically ended up forgetting to use at any given moment. Which is not exactly smart, but also not exactly out of character for me. In fact, it's rather typical. However, what was anything but typical is that despite having enough damage output, I was not able to knock the Iron Golem off the bridge. 
Well, first of all, there was an inherent vulnerability when being in my recovery animation. Yeah. Meaning I was better off attacking quite a bit earlier and have the move itself get me outside of his hitboxes. Which instead of resulting in enacting a Sidious ankle aggravation, led to a far less common case of caverting, crotch caping, castration. Mainly because of the lock-on point being so high up and the hitbox already being active during the actual jump itself. Yeah, other than the golem itself, there's definitely some irony here. That in this run, of all runs, the boss would not end up doing a backflip over the side of the bridge. Regardless, now with access to Amelando, I finally had access to Demon Titanite that would not require me to deal with uh, the annoying Titanite demons. After all, I rarely have had to fight them before, but, you know, avoiding the Painting Guardians on the rafters is something I have done so many times before that I can't foresee any possible issue there. You know, like uh, going through uh, Sand's Fortress. Huh. Hey, but at least we can get some extra style points from uh, jumping off the... It was actually, this has been told to me. This is actually called a but, a buttress, a buttress, not a butt rest. That's a uh, other word for chair. Apparently, apparently this is called a buttress. But uh, you can at least get some extra style points by jumping uh, off uh, with the flip here, right on the balcony. There's no Romeo down here, but uh... hey, what the, what the hell? I gravitated towards... Uh, gravi uh, gr <laughs> quickly, don't die from... Ah, nice. I did not die from gravity. Because I have di uh, died from uh, gravity there before. After doing that jump. Hey, but what the hell? I went for... for what the... <laughs> Son of a fuck. At least we have another... Uh, another... Attempt at making the balcony flip. Now I understand why there was no Romeo down here. He's too ashamed of, uh, of me. Uh-oh. Shit. No. That didn't work out. <laughs> you know, I'm not even so much dying because of the actual challenge part of the run. I'm just dying through <laughs> because of all kinds of stupid shit that's happening. <laughs> like, this could have happened in basically any type of playthrough. <laughs> At least another uh, balcony. Hey, I actually landed exactly in the edge. If Romeo was here, he would literally throw me down the balcony at this point. Romeo is not the one who must die, apparently. Of course, they don't even want to play along. Oh, fuck! I'm getting knifed from all sides. I'm not in a JK Leeds video here. Ow, he still got me. <laughs> Come to think of it, when I get I've eventually, hopefully eventually get to the Silver Knights, I will probably need uh, John Romeo uh, style uh, level of uh, skill in order to make it past them. Hey, whoa, whoa, no! I can't quit out fast enough, what the fuck? How the hell did that even happen? At this point, the, the painting guardians weren't even killing me. Uh, I was just... I died so many times, I'm, I've run out of Romeo references to make on the balcony here. Son of a bitch. Jump! Finally! Of course, and now I'm getting invaded and the invader <laughs> turns, the, <laughs> turns the tower back. And speaking of not doing things properly, how am I going to do this? <laughs> Hey, but Black Knight, you couldn't. Uh... All right, very nice. That actually worked out quite well. So that's weird. Black Knights cannot be knocked down with that attack, but Silver Knights can. So Silver Knights have less poise or something, of less weight or whatever. All right, now let's do a final flip down here, and we made it to the bonfire in Alondo. Ah. Wow. Alright, first try. Easy. At least the archers didn't turn out to be a silver nightmare. But whatever may be the case, now we not only have access to two more demon titanite from a chest, 
But at the blacksmith, we could now buy Twinkling Titanite in order to further upgrade our armor. Very expensive, but I could simply return here after boss fights, given that I wouldn't need souls to level up anyway. And speaking of boss fights, although I could technically have returned to Sans Fortress to uh, kill Titanite demons, or even one in Andalondo itself, I'm sure that the plus 4 weapon would be sufficient against Ornstein and Smo. In fact, they were ironically easier to deal with than the Titanite demons, although, well, with emphasis on Eeyore. Because given how Ornstein jumps with more agility than I can, and Smo lands with a more powerful strike than I do, this fight became incredibly RNG heavy, and mainly a matter of tanking through the incoming damage. I mean, getting hit or not wasn't exactly like flipping a coin, because then I would expect that getting stabbed or crushed after calling it wrong would be less than 50%, depending on when, where and in which context that uh, coin is uh, tossed, I suppose. But given that I was like, yeah, let's not kindle the bonfire any higher yet. Let's first just see how things go. Well, that uh, kinda meant that it came down to me having to use humanity directly as a healing source. Which, in all fairness, at the very least, would also provide me with an admittedly small damage boost. But with a damage boost nonetheless. I'm mainly worried about his jump attack because I can't really respond to that in the time. Okay. I bet he won't do it twice in a row. Okay. How often am I going to get proven wrong? <laughs> yeah, of course I jinxed myself. Oh, whoa. No. Uh, oh, he actually missed me. Okay, now finish it, finish it, finish it. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, despite the really skinny legs that you have uh, when wearing the Artorias armor, I myself haven't been skipping leg day. I mean, for a gamer, I can be pretty sporty. In fact, I was rewarded with the Super Bowl afterwards. Oh, and uh, a nice little bit of uh, video game logic here. Or can you? <laughs> you can jump on top now. Unfortunately, that's not, uh, not the case. Invisible wall. Come here, child. Yeah, come hit her. I'm trying to come hit her, but... I'm trying to hit her! <laughs> Get it? Ah. Fuck me. Unfortunately, after obtaining the Super Bowl, the entire run basically went straight into the Toilet Bowl. Because now I had no other choice than to fight multiple Titanite demons for Demon Titanite. And, uh, well, let's say that those fights were not necessarily first try victories per se. Apparently I hadn't died enough times in Sans Fortress yet. But eventually, and now, uh, yeah, I mean eventually, I finally managed to turn the Abyss Greatsword from Abysmal into a Greatsword. Well, sort of. In fairness, the damage output was pretty disappointing for a fully upgraded weapon. But given that my playstyle this entire run had been even more disappointing, boosting it with humanity wasn't a viable option given how easily I would lose it again. Now fortunately, Isolith was up next and that was pretty straightforward other than requiring a little stricter timing. In fact, the main danger was the lava because I insisted on trying to flip across the gap. Well, there you go. There is the heat of summer and some corresponding salt. And of course, as expected, I had a similar experience with the Bat of Chaos, which is already bad and chaotic. But since I insisted on using this move to flip on top of the tree branch, I was handed over to the Abyss a little earlier than expected, as the boss flipped me off, you know, literally and also, you know, in the, in the other sense of the word, probably afterwards. I mean, I couldn't see it down there in the dark, but... I wouldn't be surprised. And speaking of using this move unnecessarily to make jumps that you can't reasonably expect to make in any sort of consistent way, <laughs> I uh, desperately tried to turn the duke skip into the duke flip, but apparently when you're mid rolling, getting onto the railing is already an issue. But without armor, I did at least get close, so I do believe that it's something that could be done. But trying to angle it correctly and time it correctly with the downward momentum is, uh, is pretty cursed. Which I fortunately wasn't, despite the entire run itself being seemingly cursed so far. It should be evident. But when it comes to the status effect, Artorias' armor happens to have quite a decent amount of curse resistance. Resulting in me beating Seif on the first try. Now after dying once. But the thing that left me seething was the fact that I had to pay for the very crest that already belonged to me. Now, I hope that Andre never gets into the gaming business because paying for stuff that you already own or not owning stuff that you have paid for, 
would not be a model I would want to see implemented into the gaming industry. Yeah. Well, something you really wouldn't want to see is the absolute tragedy of fighting Sif as Artorias. Putting the goodest of all darks, in fact the only good dark in the From Software multiverse, into his grave as his master while he's defending the grave of his master. My armor may have been fully upgraded at this point, but inside this metal skin beats a noble heart of gold and I feel like it's almost taken from me. Well, I cannot let that happen, so it's time to take a different spin on the tale of Artorias, which meant that it was time to enter the DLC. Oh, interesting one. You want some actual uh, old-fashioned uh, Prescottio lore? Okay, this, this is gonna blow your mind. This is gonna blow your mind, but it's actually true. This is not a joke, this is actually true. You know, Super Mario Bros. 3, World 8, Dark Land. You know, you have Grassland, you have Waterland, you have, uh, what was it, uh, Giant Land, uh, whatever. I honestly believed, I honestly believed, I was convinced of it. <laughs> honestly believed that the final world, the final land in Super Mario Bros. 3, you know, the hell type world with the tanks and that kind of stuff. I thought that was supposed to be Germany. And no, that is not a joke. I actually thought that. And I don't know exactly where it came from, but it might be that I uh, that in the manual, for example, it was like it's it said it in English, Darkland. And I asked my mother, what uh, what does Darkland mean? And she said, Duisterland. Uh, darkness is duister. Uh, dark is duister in uh, Dutch. And in the, and in Dutch we call Germany Duitsland. So I thought she said Duitsland. <laughs> so I thought the final world in uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 was supposed to be Germany. Hey, and it made sense. What, what do you know uh, as a kid of Germany? Well, uh, the Second World War. What is the first thing you encounter in Darkland in uh, Super Mario? A tank. Well, there you go. So, oh, oh, another, <laughs> another fine piece of lore. Uh, the Seventh World is called... Pipe maze or well, pipe land, would you say? And it, I think it's the European version that has land on everything, and the American version some has like different words for it, whatever. But the seventh world is pipe land, basically. Then, and the thing is, the Dutch word for pipes, pipen, is also a euphemism for, uh, well, sucking cock. World seven is cock sucking land, and world eight is Germany. There you go. Hi Dusk. Ah. Yeah, you were trapped. You were cursed in a sense. But I think this entire run is a lot more cursed uh, than that. And the information I just gave to you was also pretty cursed, I would say. Okay, let's give the Sanctuary Guardian a quick try. Okay, nice still hit. Oh, damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. Whoa. Well, the damage is good. Fuck. Uh oh. Well, good thing it was the big one and not the, the four in a row. Nice. Let's do it even earlier now. And then it works. You have to do it very early. Oh, but damn it, now I can't get away. Alright. <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty nice. <laughs> okay. That wasn't uh, that uh, big of a deal. I mean, I did have to uh, change up my timings a little bit, but uh, other than that, it was actually pretty straightforward, uh, I would say. All right then. Well, not all right, because now it was time for the mirror match. Artorias versus Artorias. But one Artorias had a lot more power, a more varied moveset, and even better flips than the other one. However, initially it didn't seem so dire because of all the hitbox porn giving me the illusion that I had several attack opportunities. So, little did I know that I had just entered 
the darkest nightmare and the deepest abyss that you could imagine. Because RNG will quickly turn into an unwinnable lottery the moment Atorias applies his buff, which I cannot stagger him out of with this attack, since I cannot hit him twice in a row quickly enough. Whereas initially I could tank through several attacks, but with his buff active, he suddenly got multiple one hit kills or inescapable combos. And here's the problem with any attack opportunity I thought I had. Consistency. Yes, sometimes you would survive, or not even get hit at all, but given how many hits it would take me to get through his giant health bar, inevitably, a Taurus would pull out a one hit kill or a lethal combo. Because if you spin to win a roulette, eventually, the house wins. Not to mention his ability to roll out of the way at essentially any given moment, or worse, my attacks missing altogether for whatever reason. I tried everything, and the chat suggested any of Artorias' moves as a possible safe attack opportunity. But again, nothing worked consistently. Only sometimes, but never enough times in a row. Except for one move, one tiny little glimmer in the seemingly pitch black darkness. This sweep attack, depending on timing, could make the lethal horizontal spin go over my head completely or would only hit me once instead of twice. In fact, any follow up he could do after that could hit me afterwards, but wouldn't necessarily kill me. That literally was the only opportunity I had. However, there are two problems as well. One is that you cannot bait that attack specifically. I mean, the best you can do is stay at mid range, but he is far more likely to do the stabbing dash attack. So you have to be incredibly patient, just waiting and surviving until he finally does it. And that's still not enough, because you have to be in the right position to make use of that opportunity. You see, the problem with mid rolling is that it takes too long to stand up, both for healing as well as for attacking, because we're combining a slower roll with an already slow attack against a fast moving enemy, meaning that you cannot attack after dodging one of his attacks. If you have to dodge first, you are already too late. Meaning you have to outspace the attack by running, and then you have a brief window to get your own attack in. Because if you are too late, then the Taurus will recover too quickly, and especially the horizontal spin will then become instantly lethal again, since it won't go over your head at all. And the more attacks you need to take him down, the more likely it is that something will go wrong. So we need, we desperately need, our soft humanity for a damage boost. But uh, when you die so quickly, you are at a constant risk of losing it all. Or worse, when you're not looking at the screen, but at the stream chat instead. Oh. And humanity is already a limited resource that would require extensive amount of farming to regain again. In fact, it wasn't even enough to begin with, so I decided to get power within as an additional damage boost. So already kind of bending the rules of the run. But then again, a Taurus also has a buff, so... I don't know. But of course it also came with another downside. Because even though I could take damage, I obviously couldn't take a lot of it. So not being at full health, or at least very close to full health, is incredibly risky. Especially when Atorius loves to get you stuck in healing loops, where you immediately take damage the moment you try to heal. Especially when you cannot fast roll. But at least this should be sufficient to spin things around in my favor, to some extent. Right? Huh? What the fuck? Uh -huh. I just need to hit him. Just hit him. Uh -huh. I don't know when to hit him. Come on. What the fuck? What the fuck? How? Oh. I was too afraid to heal. I was too afraid to just do a random attack. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I think I just, just do st stop doing chance once I just start flipping burgers instead. Flipping houses. 
Come on, don't waste my power with end time now. Okay, that's better. At least I moved left this time. Oh, well, what the hell? And whatever. Then no longer had uh, green blossoms equipped. Somewhat appropriate to deal with this toxicity that I have to deal with here. Come on, do the move, please. He's not doing the move. Come on, why is he not doing the move? <gasps> Two more hits. Buff! Please buff! That gives me a free attack opportunity. Ah, oh, what the hell was that? Just buff or something. Do something! Just go for it. Don't go for it. Yes! Do it! Yes! <laughs> Stop! Fuck a delicious fucked up the... Fuck! I'm flipping my shit! Oh, oh. A Taurus of the Abyss? A Taurus, it's time to go take a piss! A victory piss, there. I'm going to take a piss. Ah. Well, that was a pretty nice victory piss, if you ask me. Fuck delicious. Well, we kicked a Tory ass, sort of. Oh my god. Hey, don't, don't laugh at me, you dick. Yeah, I'm flipping the table. Wow, well, I'm breaking through it, but that's my version of flipping the table. Of course, now we have to deal with the mimic, but I think well, <laughs> just <laughs> I flipped them over the edge. Well, that's a good way to uh, deal with those annoying fuckers that actually make fun of you. Oh, Ooh. whoa, that's hitbox porn that I didn't even expect. Oh fuck, no, again. Normally you would have to uh, pay uh, for that kind of hitbox porn with your credit card, but... Uh... Although I initially went towards Manus, which uh, I guess was lore appropriately, believe it or not, even worse than Artorias, but I took a break by taking out Kalamid first. And although that fight also took an immense amount of effort, at least there was no sense of despair here that I couldn't get any attacks in without immediately dying in the process. Well, at least not necessarily. The main difficulty here is simply the inherent wonkiness of this fight and the fact that when he dashes away from me, his entire body becomes an instant hitbox. Which is a problem because every time I attack I am underneath him and unable to move out of the way. And the thing is that that attack consists of a double hitbox inflicting about 95% of my health bar. Which is therefore survivable but uh, well, power within is draining my health away as well. But at least this fight didn't feel like a complete brick wall. The main thing is that Calamite was simply a lot better at killing me than I was at killing him. So it still took a lot of attempts, meaning it wasn't until the very tail end of the stream that I managed to end him by ending on the end of his tail. Okay, end with a tail cut. Fuck you Calamite, <laughs> it was not a tail cut but I don't even care. Oh. Oh, always nice to end with, uh, on a nice piece of tail. <laughs> well, at least, at least we got something done this stream. But then there was Manus, whom I did not expect to be more of an obstacle than Notorious, since he usually can be counterattacked after, at the very least, the majority of his attacks. But not only did I underestimate how slow my own attack was this time, meaning that attacking his hands wasn't even an option, so I had to get up close and personal, but the most menacing method to the madness of madness is that no matter what I did, he, at any time after I attack him, can press the instant win button. Namely, the giant wombo combo. If he does that right after my attack, and nothing can prevent him from doing that, then I won't be able to do anything in order to survive it. Which is a level of RNG that not even Notorious had. Because this meant that the only way I could win against Manus is if he allowed me to even have the opportunity to win in the first place. 
by never doing the wombo combo after one of my own attacks. In short, at any time, he could choose to press the win button. And the only choice I had was to press continue. Oh, and to add insult to injury, I couldn't even punish the wombo combo when he would do it when I'm out of range, because for whatever reason, that would cause him to instantly recover and counterattack. Oh, and to add an even greater insult to an even greater injury, who the hell thought it was a good idea to put that freaking sorcerer guy there that can shoot you in the back on the way back to Manus? And he can even poison you or just outright troll you. Oh, the humanity. And to add the greatest insult to the greatest injury, I completely ran out of humanity altogether, which I obviously desperately needed for the damage boost. Now, of course, in principle, you can farm as many as you want here in the Chasm of the Abyss. But I obviously didn't have the time to do that. Well, fortunately for me, in Lordran, time is convoluted. And I was able to farm 99 humanity in a single second. Ah, that's uh, deepest, uh, deepest lore. But to add the greatest insult to the greatest injury, although it would have been immensely appropriate to the theme of the run to rescue and summon Sif for this fight, well, I did in fact do that, but... Uh, well, also appropriate to the lore, Sif is the one in need of protection, not the one capable of protecting me. I'm getting so fucking tired of missing my attacks. Jesus, motherfucker. That didn't hit? Ooh. You do need stamina to use the silver pendant, apparently. Maybe not a lot, but you do need it. Okay, nice. Oh, wow, I'm getting good RNG suddenly. Let's not jinx it. Jinx it. Okay, I need time to heal. No. I don't want to get stuck in the healing loop. Okay, thank you. Yes! We got it done! Oh, thank you, Mandus. I suddenly get... Why am I thanking him? Fuck you, Mandus. But I finally got some really good RNG there. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, thank humanity. Yeah, humanity restored. You can say that again. Oh, my God. I have enough of darkness. So, and dusk is too close to darkness here. Yeah. I know, it's kind of undeserved, but... Uh, Take it up with my lawyer. I don't have a lawyer. Ah, anyway, we can go back to the main game. Son of a fuck. With uh, the DLC finally complete, the nightmare wasn't over yet. Far from it. In fact, it had only just begun. Well, at least Nido wasn't much of an obstacle. The only reason I had to save him until the end of the run was because I would have to break the Fab Ring to make use of the Ring of Fog and the Slumbering Dragoncrest Ring as the constantly reviving skeletons would be a massive obstacle, since I cannot keep tanking through their attacks with my tiny health bar. However, after luring Nido away from his little cartilage compadres, he himself went down without much trouble. However, now we had to go down as well. Further down. All the way down. Into the heart of the abyss itself. Our greatest foe. That which corrupted Artorius and drove him insane. Yeah, it is indeed capable of driving someone insane. And he was one of the Knights of Gwyn, and we are a mere imposter. A lowly hollow with an even smaller health and stamina bar now. I'm not even sure if this is possible. There were already three kings. Okay, I mean, I had the most terrible start you can imagine, but still. Jesus, they do so much damage. Uh, uh, all, all the way over there? 
Oh my god, this sucks. And I'm... It's already such a race against time. Yeah, this is ridiculous. That, no. Okay, the, ah, this is no way to start. You can't start like that. It's already a race against time. And I don't even have the wolf swing equipped now, what I wanted to try. You know, because I constantly get my poise broken. I think the second king is already here. Yeah, you see, he's constantly breaking my poise. Yeah, I guess I could have quit out. You're a good point. I didn't even think of that. And the magic is still going to hit me like this. I didn't even hit him! How does this attack always miss? So I have to actually pick up my souls, then quit out. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. Heal, heal. What? Why did it took full damage? What the hell? Who? Attack! Hit! Unbelievable. Why the hell didn't I hit him? Yeah, now I'm dead, I think. No. Unbelievable. Come on. Hit him! Heal, 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 heal! What? What happened? Why did I suddenly die? I almost had them and I suddenly died. What the fuck, dude? I almost was there. I almost got it. Fucking fuck. How do I miss? It's like one of those situations where you can't be locked. I right, now, yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm actually dead. So basically, uh, they can't do a grab attack. That's basically what it comes down to. Because even if you survive it, it just slows you down way too much. Oh, he also froze magic. I don't even hit. Twice! <laughs> and now a grab attack. Like, how can it be even worse? How can it be even worse? Two times in a row. I didn't hit. And then I got uh, grabbed. But that's basically what it comes down to. The, the only way to get a victory is to uh, not get any grab attacks. And to get a limited amount of the magic attacks. So that, al that one almost victory was, for the most part, good RNG. But yeah, how likely is it that you will get it again? Oh, and that would have killed him. No way! How is that possible that I just missed three times? And that would have killed him and I still missed for some reason. I mean, the whole reason I did it with the minimal stats thing, uh, thing is because I did some testing. And also uh, Lobos did, uh, did a version of this run uh, like 10 years ago. I mean, that's basically like the equivalent of Rule uh, 34. But when it comes to Dark Souls runs, uh, Lobos already did it 10 years ago. <laughs> But so I did some tests and I was like, yeah, if you just don't, don't do it with any sort of restriction, it becomes way too easy and then it's going to be boring. So my, then my initial idea was, hey, let's do a new plus fresh start. Well, that was obviously completely undoable. So this was like uh, something in between, basically. 
But I never expected that the end of the playthrough would be this fucking uh, disastrous. I hate the way I can never just relax and play games nowadays because I feel like I should be doing research and uh, uh, for a vid or something else. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the basically the biggest irony ever. Both of us, where we uh, we play games for a living in a sense, but I did a lot more gaming before I had my to my channel than I do now. <laughs> I mean, usually after a run is done, I don't, other than just uh, recording B-roll or something, after the run is done and uh, and then the time, uh, you know, uh, after the playthrough is done and uh, the, the video actually comes out, I don't start up my PS5 or any other game on my PC whatsoever. So <laughs> that tells you something about uh, how time intensive uh, video editing is. So that's all uh, sometimes a bit amusing when people say, Hey, what do you play in your free time? What free time? <laughs> there is nothing like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I suddenly died. How was I that far away? That, uh, that count as a blade hit. Come on. So, I... The, the reason is I have to move a little bit back because I don't want to miss my attack constantly. But if I move back, then I get hit by the blade and I die. So I have to be pressed up against them, but then I can't, <laughs> I don't get it. I wasn't that far away. I was like a little tiny bit of distance away from him. Okay, let's try the... Uh, how long are they active then? Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just have to give it a try. I don't know. I'm kind of running out of options. Okay, at least get close for, before I do anything else. Damn it, I couldn't kill him. Why? Why can't I kill him? I can't heal, heal, heal! I'm pressing the fucking heal button! I was pressing the heal button and nothing happens. Well, there goes one of my shrooms. It definitely helped a lot, but yeah. Fuck no! Why do you keep missing? I keep missing! I'm not even hitting him. It's not even the right king. Yeah, 
I'm all yeah, and I'm fucked. Look at this shit. With sambal. You know what? I'm going to leave a Taurus soul here in the abyss. I'm not even sure if that's like for honor or just I'm I'm just pissed off. I mean the four kings don't have a soul. And I very much experienced that they don't have a soul. Yeah, you can you can Atorius can now forever rest in the abyss. I am going to become lord over the darkness by defeating Gwyn. Hopefully. Well, there was no hope at the end of this very dark tunnel. Only one final obstacle of pure despair. The thing is that I thought, and I thought wrongly, that because I could at least open hand parry for an attack opportunity and break his poise every second hit, I thought I would be able to at least somewhat easily spin to win against Gwyn. But I couldn't even begin without just getting obliterated in the process. And to uh, simply make a long story short, I tried absolutely everything, but nothing worked. Except for Elizabeth Mushrooms, but I only had one remaining. And after that one was gone, you cannot obtain any more. Since there are only four of those items in the entire game. And once you're out, you're out. And any other type of defense proved insufficient. Stacking flame resistance, stacking physical, as much poise as possible, nothing. Heck, I even got desperate enough to try out RTSR, with actually not a lot of red drained away from Gwyn, but uh, a lot of tears on my end. No, this was primarily a stamina issue. So I first of all had to reobtain the Fab Ring, which you can actually do because there is a second one in the game, by trading the new old monk hat with the crows. And speaking of which, now I was here anyway, I could literally flip the bird. Right down, bye bye. And given that we already had to break the rules by using Hevel's armor, which wasn't even helping enough in this case, I decided to use the Grasscrest shield for parrying, so that I could benefit from the stamina regen. And even then, it seemed nearly undoable. Guess the only option was to just survive and make it happen somehow. Some way. Just end this truly abysmal experience.
And there we are, Dark Souls using only somersaults at the minimal stats. Although with a little bit of bending the rules with some non Artorias related equipment. But uh, you know, this run had made my head spin enough already. Artorias has finally overcome the darkness in order to become lord over it. <sighs> Fuck me, I'm tired. Don't try this at home. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Karth and Frant serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Let the true dark be cast upon the world. Our world hath returned. 